Hi, I'm Sheila Blake, reporting for Cape Ann TV. We're here at uh, the beautiful Stacy Boulevard in Gloucester. And I would like to introduce Susan Kelly, who is chair of the City Planting Committee, and she is going to tell us all about the Generous Gardeners Gloucester Tour for 2014. Thank Susan, you, Sheila. You're welcome. Um, yes, uh, the 2014 Generous Gardener Garden Tour is going to be uh, July 12th, next Saturday, um, from 10 to 4. It's a self-guided tour, which some people are not familiar. It basically means you will get a ticket that is, looks like this, and it is a map and garden descriptions, and then you can follow, um, go on your own time, walk or drive to various places to see these lovely gardens. We have 12 gardens on the Gloucester's back shore. Um, the starting place is going to be the Rocky Neck Cultural Center at 6 Wanson Street and uh, it's going to be rain or shine, and we're looking forward to seeing you. Susan, what makes this different? It distinguishes it from some of the other garden tours. Well, first of all, it's in lovely Gloucester, which we have amazing views, the vistas, um, the, the, the water, um, and we have 12 very distinctive properties um, on this garden tour. Some are huge estates that are taken care of by many gardeners, and then we have some lovely small estates that are um, cared for by their owners and, and have been lovingly planted over many years. For example, we have one Japanese garden that's been cared for for many years by, by his 88-year-old owner who will be there um, telling all about his Japanese experience and, and so it has a lovely mimosa tree. Um, so I just think it's a wonderful, diverse uh, group. And then in between, you're going to be looking at beautiful vistas um, between the gardens. Well, that sounds wonderful, a definite thing to see. Um, and one thing I want to mention about this is that if you sign up online before July 9th, you get a $5 discount. It will be $20 instead of $25. And I also wanted to say that, that Gloucester City Planting Committee is responsible for all the city public spaces. And um, I'm tasked as a volunteer with finding volunteers to care for city properties. And all of the proceeds from this garden tour are to benefit city property. Um, the bulk of it will go to the rotary plantings at Plant Grant Circle, plus other gardens um, around Gloucester that are, are lovingly cared for by many generous gardener volunteers. Well, thank you, Susan. Now I'd like to introduce Ann Johnson. Ann is the landscape architect who, who did this beautiful plaza to the Fishermen's Wives and also a member of Generous Gardeners. Ann, what would you like to talk about today? Well, Sheila, first of all, I'm really pleased to be here and sitting in this lovely garden. And while you give me credit for it, I do want to say the garden is only as lovely as the people who maintain it. The Gloucester Fishermen's Wives have for years since its dedication in 2001 diligently maintained the plaza. Last year, unfortunately, they're getting older and they're, they're very generous uh, and their they're very wonderful fundraising uh, abilities began to flag a little and there were no flowers. So Susan and I talked about it. I had proposed a little garden tour for the Harvard Club. Susan, being Susan, expanded that into a generous garden tour. And it's the money from last year's tour that was used to pay for all these beautiful flowers. And it is volunteers who actually planted every flower here at the plaza, as well as other flowers on the boulevard, on the Stacy Boulevard. So I'm really delighted to be here sitting with you in this garden that was maintained by volunteers from Gloucester. In addition to the flower planting, the statue, which is by uh, a woman uh, sculptor, Morgan Faltz Pike, um, also needs maintenance. It gets waxed twice a year, and that's quite an expense. The stonework does need some maintenance. The lamp posts have been painted in the past. Uh, every public site needs a lot of maintenance, but this one in particular, because of its proximity to the ocean, uh, really does take a beating. It's another reason why we're so happy to have volunteer gardeners to help with it. Well, Ian, thank you so much. Now I feel totally up to date on what's going on here. Oh, can I say one more Absolutely. thing? Absolutely. About the garden tour. There's a CADA bus that's going to be circulating around the loop for the garden tour so that you can park your car and hop on and off the bus by waving your program. It's really a wonderful tour, and I'm hoping that everybody who goes 
has a beautiful day to enjoy the gorgeous gardens on the generous garden, Gloucester Garden Tour. Thank you, Ian.